Hey friends, how are you doing? Marcus here from ml-records.de. This video I'm trying to do in English because uh, it's something general I would like to explain with a problem with some hardware I have. And I think somebody in the world could be interested in this. So let's start. <clears throat> What's the problem? Uh, first of all, I've got an Antelope Goliath interface from Antelope Audio. And the problem was that the touch display panel in front of it was broken. All of a sudden, it was broken. And uh, I was um, I was in in the middle of a of a session, and couldn't afford to send it back to the technical support. Um, also, my warranty wasn't active anymore. I think I've got this for about three years now, uh, and I bought it used also. So no chance to send it back for the warranty. And uh, the matter of fact, I've tried or I've finished and reached to order um, a spare display to change it myself. And this is what this video is about because <clears throat> that wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to change that display in the Antelope Goliath. And I want to explain it to you. I'd rather show it to you, but I can't because I'm using it right now to make this video. So I will try to do my best to explain it. So let's start. At first you have to remove the interface from a rack. If you mounted it in a rack, put it out. And then you have screws around the black overlay. I think it was four on the left, four on the right, and six at the top. Remove them. And when you remove it, you have to break the warranty sticker. So be careful with that. If you already, or if you still got your warranty, don't do this. Just do it if you got the spare parts already and checked that your warranty isn't active anymore. So further, further on. Um, You remove the black outlays and then you see a lot of circuits. For sure, circuit plates. <clears throat> and what you have to do is you have to remove the front plate of the interface. I recommend, took me forever to find, find this point out, You have to remove all the knobs in the front. So grab, a, I don't know, a towel or something like that, that you have a, a good firm grip and just pull them from the, from the little noopsie, you know. Um, they're not screwed or attached in another way. You can just pull them off. So it's about, I see, four and 16, 20 and the big knob. The 20 small and the one big knob, pull them off. And then you have to remove some little circuit plates when you look right down on the interface. You see what I mean when you open it? So you got the, the jacks. Is it correct? Jacks for the headphones and stuff. Um, you need to remove two of them. One on the left, one on the right. They're connected easily with uh, a normal, um, yeah, a normal connection. So you just pull a little clip up, and you can remove, um, remove the the cable. <clears throat> Then <clears throat> you have to remove the female screws that are all around the front plate. From the inner side don't remove the um, don't remove the the uh, the plate 
the circuit plate, what is in front or be behind the front panel, only the female screws. I think it's about, I don't know, 10. And uh, it's very hard to reach them, some of them. Not all, but some of them. You need um, a bit for 7 millimeter. Don't know what, what's in English. Can find out. Put it in Google. 7 millimeter <clears throat> for the female screws. So, and if you if you already and successful, successfully finished to remove all the female screws, you can see that the front plate is loose. Don't remove it directly because there's one cable that is attached from the circuit plate through the circuit plate to the display. That display is attached to the front panel or the front plate. So this is a very this is a bit complicated to remove uh, these these cable because it's a very thin I don't know it's about tenth of a millimeter thick and about w one centimeter one centimeter width and you have to be very careful to not destroy the cable so. There is, um, I don't know um, how they call it, but it's a little connection with a black secure lock. And you can push the secure lock to the cable. So not the other way around and not up to the cable. Be careful with that. If you successfully... Um, if you successfully finish to open the secure lock, you can gently remove the thin cable and then you can put the complete uh, front plate from the antelope. And then it's pretty simple. You have to uh, also um, remove the cable from the display, same manner as I told you before. And then there are, I think, four screws uh, for attaching the display. Remove them, change the display, and build everything back the way, the other way around. You dismounted all of that. So it was really hard. It took me forever to do that. And it was very frustrate frustrating. And I really hope only by the description I can help someone. I'm pretty sure all the or some of the other antelope products are manufactured in a in a same same manner so you can use this on anything else. Or I hope so. I, I don't know. So be very gentle by removing this stuff. So I hope I could help you guys as I mentioned it took me forever if I make the life easier for someone who had the same problem now you can find a video to how to change the display of an antelope goliath on YouTube so guys um, I've planned a lot of stuff uh, as I mentioned I'm already in in a session to record a few acoustic songs, so just guitar and, and voices. And uh, I will go, also will go on with uh, some mixing tips for kick drum, snare, guitar. But I also want to make a video about how we recorded the acoustic session. And I will put it on the channel. And I will also make um, a walkthrough through my mixing session of the acoustics, of the acoustic session, if it's ready. So, stay tuned. Hope to see you guys soon and bye bye.